Hey, what's going on everyone? I know it's been a while since my last video. I haven't really had time to do any kind of videos. I've been just trying to keep up with my business and all that. But figured I'd do one today. So today we have this wonderful piece of junk. Um, but it was free. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna see what's good on it and what's not. Um, the person said that he just wanted it gone. Uh, the story was he bought a you know, big package deal of different arcade machines and the seller told him he had to take this thing with him. Um, he didn't even want to mess with it to see if any parts were good or not. He doesn't know the monitor's good, doesn't know if anything's good, said he never even plugged the thing in. Um, so what we're gonna do today, and we'll actually we'll go around and look at it, this thing is rough. Um, I mean, it's kinda, it's solid but it's rough in spots and it's actually coming apart in spots but right there you can see here come over here look at this that's coming apart um eh, that side's not bad the front's not bad um this is just team molding but you know the bottom is kind of messed up uh, there's a big old chunk missing out right there. Let's go around to the back because uh, it just gets worse. But let's see, the monitor chassis is zip tied right there. It's not even held in, it's just held in by a zip tie. Um, does have a power supply, a jam, a harness. Um, it's got, you know, it's got everything. And what we're gonna do, and actually the floor, floor is actually in pretty good shape. It's just, and then down here, there's a whole chunk missing right here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna plug this in, but first, because I wanna see if that monitor works. Um, again, this was free, so if anything works, it's great. Um, I'd like to see if that power supply works, any of this. Um, looks like everything is wired up, just all the wires are just kinda everywhere. Um, so we will, what I'll do is, before I even plug like a PCB in, and if this thing gets any power, we're gonna check at the JAMA harness to make sure we've got the correct voltage going to it so I don't kill a PCB trying to test this stuff. And let's see, also, this thing at one time used to be a Punisher game. I don't know what kind of cabinet, I mean, obviously it was a Superstars 2 at one time. But I don't know what kind of cabinet this is. It looks just uh, like a generic, like a generic cabinet. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna actually make sure first that everything is connected, even though it's really crappy work right here. Make sure everything's connected, nothing's touching, and gonna blow something up, you know, sparks, all that good stuff. Make sure all my connections are at the monitor correctly. And uh, like I said, if everything's good, I want to check the voltage at that JAMA harness. So let's get that done. All right, so I just went over everything. Everything seems to be hooked up fine. Doesn't look like anything's going to make any sparks or damage anything. Uh, you can see our power supply is on because I do have the cabinet switched on. Um, what we're going to check for right here with our uh, plus five and our ground we're gonna be looking for five volts. So if you have anything lower than five volts, see this little knob right here? Oh, sorry. That little knob right there, you're gonna turn that either up or down depending on if you have too low or too much voltage. You don't wanna to go too high, you'll, you'll kill a PCB. So let's take our multimeter right here, got it set up, and we're gonna test this. All right, hopefully I got this set up so you guys can see that multimeter pretty good. Uh, we're going to take these and put them where I told you, and we're going to measure that voltage. Hopefully we're around it and we don't have to adjust too much. Let's see. Like I told you, ground and plus five. And if you need to know where that is, uh, like this doesn't have, you know, anything to tell you what's what. Just Google jam a harness pin out and you'll figure it out. So let's get our ground 
right there. Come on. Let's get our ground. Let's get our, it's kind of hard to do this with trying to get you to see. And our plus five. And actually we're right on point. We're at 5.0. So that's actually really good. It's not gonna damage nothing. And that's where it should be. So let's go, let's see, let me get a PCB and we'll plug this in. All right, so I went with a Pandora box and we're gonna switch it on and see what happens here. Got power at the Pandora box. Oh, our uh, marquee light that came on. Man, that is just coming apart. Uh, let's see. Let me turn off the. Let me close this garage door here real quick. So much light in here. All right, so monitor works. Um, so the reason for that is. Probably, uh, so the settings on the Pandora's box, I've got to, I got to mess with them. Hold on real quick. All right, so I'm done messing with my Pandora box. Uh, I had the wrong resolution on there. I think the last time I had that in something, I had it hooked to like an LCD monitor. So it was probably on VGA or HDMI, more than likely HDMI. But, um, so the monitor works. Um, the only thing is it does have color issues but I don't know if it's gonna to need to be degaussed or maybe I have to mess with the, uh, the settings. Um, right here, here's the remote board for it. Ah, oh, come on. So, you can see all the settings and stuff. Um, this is like one of those universal chassis. Um, so I don't really know too much about them. The only thing I can really do is uh, mess around with the settings, mess around with the knobs here, and uh, see what I can do. But uh, so far, so good. I mean, at least it works. At least the power supply works. You know, it's got a JAMA harness in it. The monitor works, even though it needs to be tweaked here. Um, I'm not getting any sound, so I don't even know if there's any speakers in here. Maybe I'll take that down, see if there's any speakers in there. Um, <clears throat> but the light comes on, so let me put the door back up here. <sighs> One of these days I'll get back to that, but, um, probably, let me try to get sound here. I at least want to get sound. Okay, so figured out why I didn't have sound. Um, had the volume turned down on the PCB on the Pandora box. But it does make sound now, like, and it does coin up, even though this is on free play. So at least you can hear that. Um, only problem is, I can't get it. All my joysticks and my buttons, they don't work. So, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'll have to figure that one out. But, so far, I mean, for a free pickup, I'm really happy about it. I've got a lot of good parts on this, power supply, you know, monitors working even though it needs to be tweaked. Um, the control panel's worth money, coin door's worth money, but um, I mean, what do you guys, what's everybody think? If you guys seen this, should I try to fix this cab a little bit and uh, just keep everything together or uh, should I just tear everything apart, take anything that's worth money? and uh just junk the cab because i mean and i really don't have time to, to mess with this thing that's the thing but at the same time it's not completely you know it's not complete junk like this whole side's good i mean other than on the bottom there but a lot of cabinets are like that it's really this side that's just coming apart for some reason you know and obviously the big old hole right here but bondo can fill that and even on the bottom, on this side, it's not bad. And then, you know, obviously you've got the same thing. This side's coming apart, so. And then you got the piece right here that's got a big chunk missing out of it. But it's not rotted, and it's not really too damaged. I mean, if you're seeing this video, comment for me, what would you do? Would you try to at least put it back together a, a tiny bit? Would you just say screw it and junk the whole cab and take all the good parts or what? 
And I really don't know what I'm doing yet. I mean, I got, I got, I got too many projects. And you know, the only reason I brought this home is because it was free. So don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I do want to figure out why my control panel buttons and joysticks aren't working. Um, but other than that, I don't know what I'm doing yet. But anyway, you know, it's been a while since I did a video, so I'm glad to be able to get a video done again. And uh, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.